Good morning, Knicks Nation. Happy New Year. Today is Monday, January 1st, 2024. I hope that you're safe and healthy and that your family's safe and healthy and the needs of you and your family in terms of food, shelter, clothing, as well as health are being met today. Hope you had a good weekend. Blessings upon those that work in the healthcare field who along with the first responders every day are comforting and saving lives. And those that pick up garbage after party people for our, to keep our places clean and disease free. And those that make deliveries for our convenience. Double blessings upon the men and women that are here help trying to rescue, deliver, and recover. The teenagers and children that are victims of child molestation and pedophilia. The victims also of pornography and child pornography, prostitution and child prostitution, human trafficking and sex slavery. Double curses on the perpetrators, the profiteers, and the perverts that create this industry. Finally, double blessings on the homeless. Nearly 600,000 men, women, and children homeless in the United States of America and millions around the world in similar or worse conditions. Blessings upon that, for theirs is the kingdom. Tonight, oh no, this afternoon, 3 o'clock, there's a basketball game scheduled. The New York Knicks will be playing at home against the Minnesota so the Timberwolves. This is a new New York Knicks team, uh, and I'm excited to see it. It's new because you're getting, obviously, OG Ananobi in place of R.J. Barrett. Now, again, a lot of people are upset about the trade of R.J. Barrett, but in my view, um, I understand it. Um, again, some people cannot think in terms of, they only think in terms of absolutes, cannot think in terms of balance. R.J. Barrett is going to be a really good pro basketball player. As I said, I still believe in the Jimmy Butler 2.0 that I've been saying since he was a rookie. He's just not there today. O.G. Ananobi is there today. O.G. Ananobi can shoot better than a Jimmy Butler. He can guard just as well as Jimmy Butler. He's younger than Jimmy Butler. Okay? And and he and so he's ready. Now, he's he's in his prime, ready to go. Uh putting that on a New York Knicks team with a Brunson and a uh a Jew, it's gonna it's gonna be really good. So the only thing missing is Mitch Rob. If the Knicks had Mitch Rob right now, yeah, they'd be all that. But they don't. So we gotta have next man up mentality. So you got 240-pound, 6'7", OG Ananobi. You got 250-pound, 6'8", Julius Randle. You got 7-foot, 230-pound, Isaiah Hartenstein. And all of them are strong, roughneck type dudes. We're going to have to go physical. And that's I think that's what they're going to do. In light of the missing of, 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 of Mitch Robb, who would be the rim protector, then you start seeing a lot of games where the opponent wouldn't get 100 points. But... It's not going to be quite the case, but the perimeter defense, the interior defense, it should be better with uh, OG Ananobi. Not just that. Of course, we still have not Dante DiVincenzo. Quiet is kept. If you've been watching Dante over the last week or so, he's getting his stride now. He, he, again, he dropped 38 with seven threes on Saturday night. It was marred because of, you know, it was the trade and it was a loss. It was back to back and all that. But he's been get, hitting his stride. Teams cannot allow him to have wide open looks because he is hitting them and he will continue to do that. And then, of course, off the bench is now a different story. Um, people have been complaining and asking for a replacement for Obi. Well, now you've got him. His name is Precious Achua. And so you got Precious Achua, who 6'8, 250, 240 pounds of fury. I'm very excited to have him on the team. Uh, a rebounder, a tough dude, a defender. And he could occasionally hit an open three. I mean, he's not a Steph Curry. He's like 30, 25%, whatever, from three. But he shoots them, and when he starts to flow with them, you'll be glad you had him. So, that, like I said, that's Charles Oakley right there. So, <clears throat> I like that. And then we're going to be able to get to see a good, hopefully, 20 minutes a night of the combination of Grimes and Deuce. We have never seen this. We've only seen it. When they played together in the summer league, and that was dynamic. But we've never seen 20 minutes of those two guys play together on a consistent basis. 
And I feel like that's going to be a really good combination. That those two are going to be on the plus side, plus minus most of the time. And if you're getting them a good 20 minutes where they're getting warmed up, they're not looking over their shoulder and they can do their thing. I feel like we're going to get very good dividends from this on the defensive end of the floor and the offensive end of the floor. Then you add that with Josh Hart. So you have Josh Hart, Deuce McBride, Quentin Grimes, and then you're going to have Precious Chua. I feel like that's really going to be a nice second unit. And today's a good test. They just come into play this first time they're all playing today. But the Minnesota Timberwolves, top team in the West, a uh, team that's on the up and the come up, and uh, Anthony Edwards, who is, you know, turned into a superstar right in front of us. It's a good test for the Knicks here today. So I want to see how this team responds. <clears throat> it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun to watch. And so, um, yeah, like I said, all right, Hartenstein going to be in the five spot. You're still going to have Taj getting that 15 minutes that you need. I'm not sure where this leaves Jericho Sims. I'm just not sure where this leaves him. Um, Precious Achua is, he's just a better player. And I'm not saying Jericho's a bad player. Um, but Precious is, I, I'm, I would be surprised if Precious Achua didn't get those backup minutes today. Because he can back up Julius at the four, and he can back up Hartenstein at the five. Um, yeah, this is this is good. And Julius would be glad to have that because Julius would rather not play the five. Precious don't mind doing it. Okay, so this is this is all good. I, I'm, I want to see how this works out today. I'm very excited about it. I had seen some reports that some people were claiming that the Knicks got worse. We're gonna see. I think the Knicks just got better, and and I think they're just Mitchell a uh, Mitchell Robinson away from really being the Eastern Conference Finals contender. And I want to just see how this flows for the rest of this season. And it's, it, it's going to be you know, plenty of time, especially January. They got at least like 12, 13 games in January. They don't have as many uh, away games in January as they have had in this season. January, actually, the first uh, month this year where they're going to have more home games than the away games for the Knicks. So we're going to get to see that too. So I, I, I think it's a good month to see how this new squad flows. Uh, it's not too much of a disruption in what the Knicks do in terms of, you know, you have to get somebody acclimated. They're going to be some need to get OG acclimated, you know, this week or whatever, but it's not like OG wasn't playing and he wasn't playing with a defensive unit. He was, so he should be able to fit in quite well with Tom Thibodeau, but you're going to really add to it. You're just losing RJ and putting OJ in. You're really not, disrupting too much you just add into it and then your bench unit just got stronger because you kind of was trying to experiment with the back you because now you didn't have obi anymore you had quickly but then heart kept going from the first unit to the second unit because of injury and then you had the, the grimes and dante thing well now that's kind of worked out dante's your guy at the, at the starting two guard spot whether you feel that Grimes should start or not it to me right now the flow is with dante he's flowing right now so you don't want to mess with that and so you give Q Dog a chance to play with his boy Deuce, play for significant minutes, and get in the flow himself. So I'm excited to see this. I, I just want to see how this world, how this works out, and uh, I'm excited to see it. I want to see how it flows. I want to see how the defense flows. They don't have the rim protection, but I want to see the, the perimeter defense tighten up a little bit with OG out there. And so uh, we'll see. This is going to be interesting. We'll all enjoy it. Uh, we'll talk about it as a review tomorrow uh, and, 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 and go over it. Hopefully, it's a win for the Knicks, uh, but we'll see. Y'all enjoy the New Year's Day. Shalom.